We have one of our great sponsors this year, Forever Recovery, who is a major sponsor of our health fair and our health initiative. So this time we'll have the CEO of Forever Recovery, Mr. Per Wickstrom, with greetings. Let's cheer National Baptist. I wanted to take and thank all of our esteemed guests for the pleasure it's been to have me here speaking in front of you and being one of the forefront in the health fair. I want to thank everybody because what I do, I believe, touches everybody's life. And I know that everybody sitting here has had a loved one, a friend, or a close relative that's had a problem with addiction. And one of the areas that we find that we deal with in addiction is the prison population. Now, right now, the United States has about 5% of the world population, and we have the most prisoners in jail. And you kind of sit back and you wonder on this subject, why that is. Well, it seems to me that drug addiction has a lot to do with prison population. Where we take our young men and women that can get convicted of a nonviolent crime, a drug charge, and instead of rehabilitating those people, we imprison those people. Now, in my job, I rehabilitate tens of thousands of people each year. And we have pretty good success rates. And we see these people go on to live good, productive lives. Get back involved in their community. Get involved in their churches. Okay? But if we put a man or a woman in jail, do they get back involved in their community? No, they don't. Do they get back involved in their church or their family? No. And they do not meet the people that they're going to have to meet to live a sober life. So what I wanted to do today is kind of ask everybody a favor. We have cost going to jail ranging from 20 as high as $60,000 in New York City to incarcerate an individual for a year. If we all got together and we really believed that rehabilitation worked, rehabilitation cost a third of that amount. So not only could we help put people back in our communities, but we could help the economy by taking people out of jail, putting them in rehabilitation, having them become members of their communities and their churches again. There was a time that I sat down on the side of the curb, that I was in a jail in Florida, that I was at my rope's end, and who did I turn to? Who did I turn to? I, you're right, I turned to God for a minute, and I sat down there, and I said, please help me. Because when you're down and out in Beverly Hills, guys, there's no other way to go, okay? And if I didn't get that help, and I didn't get that help for my community, and I didn't get that help that I needed, I wouldn't be here today helping people. And how many people today would not be getting the help that they needed? Thousands. So we got to remember that, that that guy that you're looking at today that needs help, that you reach out and you put your hand out and you give help. Okay? 
might be the guy tomorrow that stands up here and has the ability to help thousands of people. Thank you very much. Thank you to all your esteemed guests and everybody that's been like a brother to me and a sister in God's name. Thank you.